logic to analyze the aerodynamic principles that affect uh, all planes. And to most people, airplanes seem kind of like a mystery. Like, how does this 10-ton machine stay in the air? Uh, while paper airplanes are not production airplanes, they use the same uh, mechanics that uh, regular airplanes use to stay afloat. So if we can analyze those, we can apply to those to learn about uh, production airplanes and how they work. Alright, so the hypothesis for our experiment is if the aspect ratio is smaller, then the airplane will glide farther. So aspect ratio is the length of the wings to the fuselage, and fuselage is just the length of the body. In this experiment, we tested out six different type of paper airplanes, as you can see on here. We got three of these designs from funpaperairplanes.com, and the other three are from our previous knowledge of paper airplanes. We then tested <coughs> both of these paper airplanes using 8.5 by 11 inches typing papers, so that we like, can last be the same and it doesn't affect how our paper airplane flies. We tested these paper airplanes out in an open area outside on a day where there was as little wind as possible, so that the, the wind also doesn't affect how, affect how our paper airplane flies. We, we had Charles through these paper airplanes, and we, we, five times, each, each of these paper airplanes five times, we then measured the distance from what he flew with where he landed, and we, re we then recorded the per hours, and we find the aspect ratio of each of these airplanes. All right, so results. As you guys can see for figure five four, it has the best average distance, <coughs> so that was the best plane. And <laughs> although it's not the smallest aspect ratio, it kind of supports our hypothesis to a certain point because then at design 5, it's 0.34, but the distance is smaller. And that's because the because when the airplane glows, the wings are too small to create any lift for the airplane, so it couldn't get any distance. And now we'll be demonstrating how the paper airplane flies. Some problems with this experiment is that optimally it would have been performed indoors in a large open area, but we couldn't get access to such an area, so we had to do it outside. Uh, we tried to do it on as most of when a day was as not windy as possible to avoid any uh, strange variables. But uh, with some things complicated as airplanes, even though they're paper airplanes, there's a lot of variables to consider. So uh, we couldn't control everything. Uh, for example, <coughs> if you see like these two planes, they're shaped very differently. So there's more variables than just the aspect ratio to test here. Uh, one such variable is the curvature of the wings. And this curvature affects what's known as Bernoulli's principle, which is what allows airplanes to fly. Did you want to find Bernoulli's principle? So Bernoulli's principle is when like the air under it, like the air will go over, and like the air under it will create lift because the air on top is just gliding over it, so there's not as much pressure going down on the top, so it creates a rise up. And that's shown by uh, this picture here. You can see that this air up here is moving uh, much more, well, not much, but relatively quickly compared to this air down here because. Uh, air is a fluid, so it wants to cover, it wants to stay together. And whenever you have a curvature in the wing, the air moves faster over the top to catch up with its, I guess you could call it partners, down here. And whenever the air moves quickly, um, it creates less force down here than up here. So it creates a net force up here. And that's what allows uh, the airplane to stay afloat. Um, one other, like I said, the aspect ratio isn't the only variable here, and the reason that uh, low aspect ratio 
if you the wings are too big, they'll either like fall down under their own weight, or whenever they're flown, the lift will cause the wings to like pop up, and then that will uh, eliminate any stability that the plane had. Actually, we did um, uh, create multiple uh, designs of the same airplane, and we flew those to see which one flew the best. And we used the best candidate from each category as the uh, design file. Any more questions? Uh, yes, they're all the same size. They're uh, 8.5 by 11 typing paper. <laughs> 